All right, everyone, welcome to Throwback Thursday. Today, I'm going to do one that actually isn't that old, but it got the Sayonara boot. And because of that, I'd rather do it now instead of years later when I see it on DVD or I rent it or something. I'm like, oh, I remember that show. So anyways, today I'm going to basically dedicate this Throwback Thursday to Resurrection. Resurrection was a TV show on ABC that basically was shown on Sunday, and it actually featured Kurtwood. Yeah, I think that was his name. The guy who played Eric Foreman in that 70s show. It was a treat to actually see him again. It was a very, very good treat. So in this story, you basically have a couple who lost their son so many years ago, and then all of a sudden... You have a guy, uh, his name is Omar, but he's an agent. So the agent found their son in China, but he's dead. <laughs> and then it comes to the crazy story of then all of a sudden there's a little bit more appearances happening, including the pastor's ex-girlfriend who actually is pregnant, which you're like, what? And actually goes into season two. So yeah, you had all that stuff happening and of course the agent has to monitor things and check things out because they're trying to figure out what's the appearances and stuff and all that. So yeah, that's what his agency is basically doing and well, I think that's basically all besides the whole now seeing the boys, uh, Jacob, that's his name. Yeah, seeing Jacob's transition through living again and... All the people were like, oh my gosh, he's returned. He's not something of God. God didn't have allowed this to happen and all that crap. So yeah, you had like a big craziness going on. And then, of course, they added more people returning, which is like, oh my gosh. And then I think it was like season one or half of season one or second half or something that their grandma came up. His Jacob's grandma actually returned. And then Grandma was actually the bad guy here. Yeah, the Grandma actually got rid of... Oh, yeah, um, I forgot about the couple's other family. Yeah, so you basically have a sheriff, and he has a daughter, and the daughter actually is a doctor. There, the mom slash her ex-wife returned. And then the Grandma all of a sudden got... Yeah, in later, later episodes, actually made her disappear, made her return where she came from. So she just disappeared, which is like, whoa. Yeah, so you, the grandma is one of those bad ones. Yeah, and then after that, we get into season two where she does turn herself in and stuff, and she actually, oh yeah, and also there's another jerk who is like, not Lannisters. So, yeah, you basically had something that happened years and years, decades ago. And one of the people who suffered from that came back and wanted revenge on the couple. Or technically revenge on the family because it was their factory that the fire happened. So, yeah, there's lots of crazy details that happened within this series. And also you have the guy who is a police officer. He has a jerk brother. And all, he did kill his jerk brother. That was awesome. But then the jerk brother came back as a returned, which was like, oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That's sad for that guy. But anyways, yeah, a big revolt happened very, very soon. And, of course, Omar, well, the person, the agent that was played by Omar, he actually got killed. And it was like, whoa. And then it turns out that he was returned he returned as a baby and grew up which was like what yeah and then we find out that his mom and dad and sister and oh yeah i forgot there's a freaking illness that happens from the returned as well so it's like whoa so yeah and also there's that other guy that yeah in season one where he actually was a bad guy and he stole crap and all that stuff. It's like lots of stuff that happened in the series. But at the end, like the second half of the series, the second season two, is the fact of a preacher came. And his preacher, we were thinking maybe he's good. But it turns out that the preacher guy was kind of bad. And then 
it basically turned into something crazy. The fact of there's like lots of dreams and prophecies and crap. So it looks like the preachers, not this preacher, not the returned preacher who actually has quote unquote miracles that can resurrect people from the dead. Which I was crazy how he resurrected one guy. Yeah, he resurrected. Yeah, so Kurtwood's character actually died in that revolt. And yeah, he yeah, so he got resurrected, but they actually made him shoot yeah, the miracle preacher and he went into the grave and he came back the next day with yeah, so it was like whoa. The real thing is that the the preacher, the first preacher, the one that actually was the city's preacher, his ex girlfriend actually was pregnant like i said and we were waiting for the baby to come out and then it turns out that the baby would become the antichrist which i was like oh you turn full circle religious on us oh my gosh yes yeah, so the preacher along with many others revolted and tried to kill her and the baby but yeah it didn't work it didn't happen so this is where it ends this is where it ends when they cut it and said, yeah, it's not returning. We're canceling the show. It's that we see the baby just in the room. And then all of a sudden, at the window, we see lots and lots of flies just coming at him. Of course, the window's closed. So, yeah, you have like a big, massive blob of carcasses of flies splattering all over the window. And that's where it ends. Good job, you bastards. You freaking damn made a beautiful series. And you didn't even allow them to continue on with what they were going to do. So now it's kind of like, oh, I don't even know why they really canceled it. Of course, they're going to be like, oh, the viewership was low. The ratings was low. And it's like, man, screw the freaking ratings. Just allow them to tell the story so we can actually get the understanding of what the freak is going to happen next. Like, damn. But anyways, Resurrection joins with many other series that actually works good crazy plot twists and yet it gets put on a shelf surface was another one invasion is another one sarah connor chronicle sarah connor chronicles which i really wish they i like that show too bad they moved it to a different night which that's what screwed it over dollhouse was in there dark angel and the list goes on and on sexually Look at this goes on and on. But anyways, Resurrection, it was a good series. I mean, the messed up plot twist of, oh crap, they're going to do the freaking damn <laughs> end of worlds thing. That was horrible. That's like the horrible part of it. But on the other hand, they might not actually do it. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if they were going to skip years and years and years ahead and then all that stuff. But of course, one side note that I forgot to mention is that since there's lots of returned, there was a vote in the government to choose either the return get the vote or don't get the vote. And so the, revote, the review is in and the returns do not get the vote on presidential stuff and elections. But they do have to pay taxes, which is like, wow. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, that's about it. So, Resurrection. It's gone, and... Man, you guys just allowed that set up for nothing. Seriously, man. Seriously. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud.